13th of September 2023, investigators from the Serious and Organised Crime Branch arrested two men in connection with the trafficking of controlled drugs to Western Australia. A 58-year-old man from Seaford and a 36-year-old man from Angle Park have been charged with two counts of trafficking a large commercial quantity of methamphetamine. It is alleged that back in June and July 2022, the men were involved in the preparation of over 40 kilograms of methamphetamine in South Australia. The men then facilitated the transportation of the drugs to Western Australia, where they were later seized by local police. At the time of seizure, the drugs would have been worth over $7 million if sold by the kilogram in South Australia, and $30 million if sold at street level. Following the arrests of both men yesterday, searches were carried out at properties in Seaford and Morford Vale. While searching the Morford Vale address, police located just under a kilogram of methamphetamine, $82,000 cash, a cash counter and a taser, and other items. A 30-year-old man at the address was arrested for on fresh offences and subsequently charged with trafficking a commercial quantity of controlled drugs, two counts of trafficking controlled drugs, money laundering, and possessing a dangerous article. These charges are unrelated to the offences committed in 2022. All three men were refused police bail and will appear in court today. Police investigations are ongoing and further arrests are anticipated. We'd like to take this opportunity to reassure the community that police will be relentless in their pursuit of those people who deal illicit drugs in South Australia. The, the, impact of methamphetamine, sorry, the impact of methamphetamine is well known in our society. The drug is highly addictive and can tear lives, communities and families apart. I'd like to thank our partners in WA, the Western Australia Police, for their support of this investigation. And this should serve as a reminder to drug traffickers that law enforcement agencies will work together to bring criminal syndicates such as this to justice. I'd now like to, before I take questions, just um, point you to the screen where we can show you some image, images of the drugs in Western Australia that were seized. So the, these are the drugs that were seized last year um, by, by police over there where two people were arrested. Um, those people are not connected with today's media release. And I won't be commenting further on the charges that are before the courts in that state. Um, but this is the drug here, the methamphetamine, quite a distinctive pink colour. And that's the um, presentation there for the media in WA. And then yesterday, um, following the search of Morford Vale, um, the further methamphetamine and cash was seized. And that's an image from the, from the search yesterday. I mean, without hypothesising too much, what in what's the ballpark sort of um, sentencing that we might be looking at for a crime like this? I, I can't and I won't so obviously um, you know, hypothesise, but the reality is um, trafficking a commercial, sorry, a large commercial quantity of methamphetamine um, carries a maximum penalty of life in prison. So I think that sends a very clear message for what Parliament intended for this type of crime. And the arrest, do you expect further arrests after this? Uh, yes, I do. A significant number of uh, arrests? I won't go into the number, I would like people to guess um, for themselves. Uh, they know who they are, uh, but I won't confirm a number. Uh, how sophisticated is this? How, what, how did they move this across the border? I won't, I won't go into details for this specific case. However, um, we are noticing across the country for similar um, operations that uh, these offenders use road, rail, air. There's already no um, um, sort of port of call that uh, is not that is off limits. Are police aware of trafficking related to this that's still ongoing now? It's been investigated. Uh, I'm comfortable that in relation to this particular syndicate that um, we have um, we have dismantled that. Um, but uh, I'm not going to um, uh, hypothesise in relation to other groups. And how many states does the syndicate stretch across? Is it just WA and SA? We're alleging that this was between South Australia and Western Australia. Uh, is this bike related? Um, I, I won't go into detail as to the connections that these individuals have got, but so to say, generally speaking, um, people who engage in this sort of behaviour are often are known and have links to serious organised crime groups. The people and, that you've arrested, do they have links to yeah. bikers? I, I, I won't go into the links that they have. Are you aware of links they have to criminal organisations here and in Western Australia? In relation to the uh, three people who were arrested yesterday, I won't confirm any links. Say, Paul, do they, how do they know the drugs aren't just being made here? And they probably were. And uh, I can confirm that in this particular case, a clandestine drug laboratory um, 
which are already subject to charges that are before the courts, um, uh, which I won't comment further, further on. Um, uh, those particular um, drugs, um, it will be alleged that were manufactured in South Australia. Safehold fill in control of the drug trade in South Australia? Uh, I think we are sending a very clear message with, with um, operations like yesterday and other operations that you would have seen over the past few years that we, uh, we take this um, criminality extremely seriously and that um, we uh, leave no stone unturned to put these people behind bars. How significant, oh, sorry, apologies. Thank you. There you go. Um, how significant is it um, keeping this quantity of drugs off the streets here in South Australia? So, so with a um, $30 million um, street level you know, value, that's a lot of harm on communities. You know, that's that's uh, drugs that have been prevented from going into the arm of, of you know, thousands of people. The the drug lab that was shut down in relation to this, when was that shut down? Uh, I, I won't go into detail as those matters were already currently before the courts, um, so I won't, I won't comment on the drug lab. Can you give us an indication of where the lab was located, about Lake North? Oh, say in South Australia, and um, there was a matters before the courts. Why in Western Australia, obviously it's quite brazen to try and travel that far or traffic that far. Is there any reason why you think they've chosen that state? I, I, can't, I can't comment on that. That will also ultimately be a matter for them um, to, in, in the course of the uh, court proceedings. You said road, rail and air. What about shipments? Is yeah, all ports of court. Yeah. Yeah. Has that been a major part of it? Um, again, not specific to this case, but we've seen that across other drug investigations that um, ports, air, airports, and the like. And how does the trafficking to and from SA and WA compare to other states at the moment? No, I, I, I can't comment on that. As in from South Australia to other states, is this bigger than what you're seeing elsewhere? Generally speaking, uh, again, we, we have criminal investigations that involve uh, drug um, trafficking between states in both east and west directions. Do you believe you've just scratched the surface of something a lot bigger here? Again, it's hard to say. Um, I think we've, it's fair to say with that seizure in WA, we've left, a, we've left them with a pretty big dent on their trade. Do you, you, have, an sorry. Sorry, you, go. Do you have an indication of how many more arrests could be made over this? Uh, I'm not going to uh, go into that for, for operational reasons. Are you seeing increased activity across the border? Is this a trend that's, in, that's in coming? Uh, I think you'd have to do a longitudinal study of, of, you know, of, of, of activity. Um, so I, I couldn't comment on that. So Safehold's not aware of any trends? Uh, Safehold would have trends, I don't have that data in front of me. Is it, what's the difference in prices? Like, it, in, does it compare, compare between states? Like, is it, can you get more sort of money for your drugs in Western Australia? So, so again, keeping it very gen general, yeah. um, drug trafficking is like any market, prices rise and fall on factors, and um, that's, it's no different in drugs than it is with any other commodity. Is there any indication of why WA in particular was a target for this syndicate as opposed to other states? Again, I think that goes into this particular case and the, the reasons that the actual offenders themselves would have to answer, I couldn't tell you. It's got nothing to do with supply and demand and the, the price that they could get? Again, it's, it's really what, what's in their mind and I couldn't tell you that. Generally, you? generally speaking? Generally speaking, um, uh, yeah, again, factors and um, uh, um, markets, and um, I'm sure dictate in the minds of people why they would um, sell to certain demographics and markets across Australia. And I think we asked this, but in terms of the significance of this seizure, is this one of the, is this one of the big ones you've seen in some time? Um, certainly in my uh, relatively limited time in the era that I'm working, this is the biggest that we've, that we've had, but that's only a relatively short time, but across South Australia, um, I, I couldn't comment again, I'm sure there's been bigger ones in the past. So how, how long is that? Uh, sorry? How long, in terms of the biggest ones you've seen, is that in the past like year or couple of How long have I been at Drug and Organised yeah, Crime Task yeah. Force? I've only been there for a couple of months. Oh right, okay, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.